I worked for REI for 12 years, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you what REI brand gear you should buy. Ooh, spilling the tea. Spilling the tea, dropping the knowledge, having the gals over for gossip. Why this hand? Oh, this, is, this is like secret hand. This is secret hand? <laughs> This is my show, gosh darn. A little bit of Miranda backstory for those of you who are new here. I worked for REI for over a decade. And so I have tried a wide variety of REI gear from like REI tents to sleeping bags and sleeping pads to packs to back in the day when they made headlamps. I think the biggest question that I got from people as an REI retail employee was like, is this REI brand stuff any good? And frankly, I think that's a really valid question. So here I have a bunch of REI brand products that I think are just really fantastic, totally worth the money. And if I was going into an REI and trying to decide if the REI brand version was just as good or better than a more expensive competitor, these are the products where I would say 100% yes, worth your money, go buy them. I'm gonna go through all of this gear around me and at the end, I will get to what I think is the best piece of gear that REI makes. But first, we're gonna start with these REI Camp Dreamer slippers. These are some of the best slippers I've ever owned in my life. REI came out is shortly after Teva, which is one of my favorite brands, launched a shoe that they called the Ember Mox. And when I saw these, I was like, oh, this is like the REI knockoff version of the Teva Ember Mox. As it turns out, these are better and they're cheaper. In my mind, this is like the perfect shoe for anybody who tends to get cold feet. <laughs> Boom, REI Camp Dreamer slippers. Get them. Boom, moving on, great. You just noticed you got no shoes on. Yeah, why would I have shoes on? We're inside. All the foot fetish people are gonna be like, yeah, look at them grimy toes. Boop, boop, doop, boop, 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 doo, doo. Ah, push it. This is the REI Trail 2 print fanny pack. This is actually one of their pride prints, I think, from last year. I'm not sure what about this screams gay, but uh, apparently REI thought it did, so this is their pride print. I like those colors. Me too. So we have one pocket in the very front, and then we have a big compartment in the middle. This has a back pocket here, which is where I keep my phone charger, my wallet. The main body of this hip pack is actually large enough that I can put my Patagonia Houdini jacket in here, which is really great for me because I frequently get cold. And then the last pocket on this bag is actually at the very back. Right now I have some electrolytes and some instant coffee in here. I've been on a huge kick right now where I'm combining instant coffee and chocolate salt element powder and getting like an electrolyte and a coffee kick at the same time. Really quick, this is Element's chocolate salt flavor that I mentioned in the video. This was a flavor that I was really skeptical about, but then when I finally tried it, it quickly became one of my favorites. When I first started using Element, I was actually only using it when I was hiking and backpacking, but it has now become something that I take almost daily. It is very helpful at preventing migraines and cramps, and it's particularly useful right now in the heat of the summer. So what I love about chocolate salt is that on its own, it just basically tastes like chocolate milk, and when I add it to my coffee, it basically makes a mocha. I have here 10 ounces of cold brewed coffee. I'm gonna add the entire packet of chocolate salt, but I would highly recommend that you start by only adding half and just see how you feel about the flavor. Shake it up. You can either pour this over ice or just drink it as is, or like me, add some milk. And we have our mocha. Oh, yum. This is so far my favorite element discovery because being able to add something chocolate into my coffee is just like the best way to start the day. If you wanna try element, if you haven't yet tried it, I'll put a link in the description, drinklmnt.com slash Miranda goes outside. And if you place an order there to try your own element, you can actually get a sample pack that includes all eight of elements flavors. Figure out what your own favorite mix of element and other things are. REI trail two. Next we have the REI Flex Light Air chair. I love this chair so much. This is one of the lightest backpacking chairs out there. It folds in on itself. So this fabric seat cover like comes off and then these legs all fold in and collapse. This chair retails for $100 and it weighs only one pound, which is super light. And granted, if you're an ultralight backpacker, you're probably like not interested in buying a one pound chair to carry with you. But if you're a traditional backpacker like I am, something like this is like full on luxury. 
at camp. The Flexlight Air Chair is actually a direct competitor to the Helinox Chair Zero. The difference is that the Flexlight Air Chair costs $100, whereas the Helinox Chair Zero costs $150. In comparing the Helinox and the Flexlight Chair, I find them both to be like pretty comfortable. The weight limit on them is super similar. The Flexlight Chair has a weight limit of 250 pounds. The Helinox has a weight limit of 265, but they weigh the exact same. So one pound on the $100 Flexlight versus one pound on the $150 Helinox. My personal opinion is that your money is better spent on the Flexlight chair. When this chair first came out, the uh, REI Media Studio had me go pick up like oodles of helium balloons to see if we could lift this chair off the ground using helium balloons. And? We did not succeed, <laughs> but it was a really cool idea. <laughs> REI Flexlight Air Chair. Far and away, one of the coolest backpacking chairs ever. Moving on, I'm actually gonna talk about a couple pieces of REI clothing. So the first one is the Sahara Sunshade hoodie. This is inside out, oops. This is a favorite among my crew, among my friends, among every single person that I can get to buy one, which is like as many people as I possibly can, this thing is amazing. I love the way the hood fits. I love the thumb holes so that you can have sun coverage over your hands. I love how well it wicks moisture. But the best thing about this probably is just the fit. REI really knocked it out of the park in making something that feels very comfortable, very flattering. It doesn't need to wash. It smells a little bit bad. Highly recommend REI Sahara Sunshade Hoodie. You're not gonna find a sun hoodie that is better than this one. This is the REI Active Hipster. I actually made a whole video about my favorite hiking underwear that includes these REI Active Hipsters. If you haven't yet seen that, go ahead and check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. I really think like as far as hiking underwear goes, they're great. Coop, moving on with REI clothing that I think you should absolutely buy. These are the REI Trailsmith joggers. I'm actually wearing a pair of them right now. These are my absolute favorite wear everyday pants because they're just so comfortable. I think they're pretty flattering. They're so versatile and they're so fantastic. These are the only pair of non hiking material pants that I regularly wear, which makes them like my date night pants, which is maybe kind of sad actually now that I think about it. <laughs> Beyond the fit of these pants, what I love most about them are the pockets. We have like a drop in thigh pocket. We have a zippered thigh pocket over here, two butt pockets, but then the main pockets on these pants, and these are the women's pants. The main pockets are huge. Watch this. You ready? Hold on. One second. Look at that. Look at how huge that pocket is. There's something in here. Oh. There's a candy wrapper. All right, Trailsmith joggers, far and away my favorite pair of non hiking, but like outdoorsy friendly pants. Boom. Next is the REI Rainier rain jacket. This is a piece of gear that REI has made consistently better than everybody else in its category for the past decade. I mentioned this rain jacket one time before in a video where I compared the cheapest and the most expensive rain jackets. And in that video, I said that I thought this jacket was one of the best low price point jackets that you could buy. And that's still true. Like I think that if you're looking for a fairly inexpensive kind of middle of the line price point rain jacket, that's gonna be super high quality. That's what you're gonna get from the REI Rainier. Truly the best hundred dollars that you can spend on a rain jacket by far. I'm getting down to the last five items on my list and working towards my all time favorite piece of REI brand gear. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm gonna move on to my next piece of gear, which is this little itty bitty REI multi towel. This might seem like a very silly thing to have on this list and I don't have that much to say about it, except that this REI multi towel is perhaps one of the most useful and versatile pieces of gear that I've ever owned. They work way better than any of the like cheap microfiber cloths that you might buy on Amazon or at, like Walmart. It dries really fast and it has so many uses. Here are some of the things that I've used my REI mini multi-towel for. I've used it to wash my face. I've used it to dry dishes at camp. I have used it as an emergency pee cloth. I've used it to dry off the inside of my tent. Just one trip. Just one trip. <laughs> well, I do think that other brands make better full size multi towels for camping. I think that the REI mini multi towel is the best mini towel out there. One thing to note um, though, just a quick heads up, this is the REI mini multi towel. They make a deluxe version of all of their multi towels and I hate them. 
Moving on, the newest redesign of the Flash 22 makes this one of my favorite all around day packs for hiking, for just like using in the city and just like having. Barky dog. The Flash 22 has two water bottle pockets and then there's also a zipper pocket on one side here which is an awesome spot to put anything that you want easy access to when it's on your back. Like you can easily reach around and unzip it or sling it off your shoulder and unzip it, but you don't wanna have it like just stuffed in an outside pocket. So I love that exterior zipper pocket. The Flash 22 also has a zipper pocket on the brain. And then on the inside, we just have a great big cavity in the bag with a sleeve in the back for your reservoir if you're carrying one or for me it's often where i put my notebook for a lot of my use daily i'm carrying this around with whatever stuff that i need for work that day and then i'm carrying this around with like my wallet my chapstick and my other like smaller things so these two combined these are kind of my like everyday use stuff from rei for your life in a dr seuss novel <laughs> Yeah, actually, this is terrible. Oh no. If you're like putting a ton of really heavy gear in here, just keep in mind that it might not be super comfortable on your shoulders. Just like try not to overload it. Great. Next, the REI Big Haul Duffel. This is a 40 liter Big Haul Duffel, but they come in a wide range of sizes. I think the smallest is 28 liters and the largest is 120 liters. But I love the 40 liter Big Haul Duffel because this is the perfect carry-on size bag. I use this duffel every time I travel. It's so practical. It's got a ton of room in it. It's easy to carry. The shoulder straps are really comfortable. Because it has these compression straps on the sides, I will often roll up a blanket and then like strap a blanket it to the outside of this duffel bag because one of the things I hate the most about travel is like being cold. This is the best and most durable duffel bag that I have found and it is a fraction of the price compared to other similar style of duffel bags. By now you've probably guessed that my favorite piece of REI gear is the REI Flash 55. Before I get to talking about the REI Flash 55 let me quickly talk about the pack away. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Boom. This is the REI Packaway Cube. This is a 100 liter storage cube. And if I'm honest with you, when I first got this thing, I thought it was dumb. But I was wrong. And I'm here to tell you why. <laughs> the thing about it and the thing about owning it is that it just does exactly what you need it to do so well and so effectively and there's just like a kind of joy in that it's completely rectangular which means that like there's no lost space where sides of a tote bin might angle and it's soft which means that i can really like pack it to the brim and then zip it closed and i don't have to worry about anything like not kind of conforming to the space inside the bin so here's the main question yeah can you fit inside it okay yeah all right <laughs> here we go <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh that made me sweaty. We are officially at my last piece of REI brand gear and the piece of gear that I think is the very best thing that REI makes and that is REI Flash 55. Ta-da! All right, listen, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've probably seen this pack a whole lot. The Flash 55 is a lightweight pack. It's not considered an ultralight pack, but it weighs only two pounds, 10 ounces, which is a lot lighter than other 55 liter packs. But it still has like a full internal frame. It's really comfortable. It has like a fully padded hip belt. This pack has these forward facing water bottle pockets, which perfectly fit a Nalgene, which for me is amazing. If you're using a smart water bottle, They'll also fit those, but these are super easy to reach when you're wearing the bag. So I can actually just like reach my hand back and quickly grab my water without any problems. They also have these big like side sort of, um, I don't know what you'd call these like slot pockets, I guess. Slot pocket. Yum. <laughs> but yeah, these pockets on the side are, are really fantastic. I can actually put my umbrella here. I can put my bidet or like what other stuff that I need easy access to really quickly in these side pockets, but still have like a pocket for my water bottle. I also really love this little pocket that fits my cell phone on the shoulder strap. One of the things that is so cool about it is just how modular it is. You can just like take all this stuff off to really strip it down to be like super light, 
very minimal. But in addition to that, you can also add a lot of features to it to like more appropriately tailor it to what you need. So for example, I actually added on these straps on the bottom here that allow me to attach my closed cell foam sleeping pad really easily to the bottom of the pack. REI sells these straps separately specifically so that you can like add different attachment points onto this pack. And I just think that that's so cool. That really takes this from being like just a lightweight pack and makes it particularly good for people who are starting to move in the direction of lighter gear, but still need something that can fairly easily carry like 30 pounds. I mean, yeah, I've like used a lot of packs. At the beginning of this year, I was really psyched on using the Gregory Facet pack more, but like every time I've used a different pack, I have missed my Flash 55 so much. This is actually the old Flash 55. The Flash 55 has recently got a redesign. And I think for the most part that the redesign has been a positive thing. There are a couple things that have changed about the new version of this pack. The pocket on the front is no longer mesh. It is now a fabric material, which means it's more durable. The pocket for the brain is actually not a rain shield water repellent zipper pocket, which is not great, frankly. I really like this whole rain shield pocket thing, but uh, it's not the end of the world. And then a couple other things that Aria has done to the new versions of the pack that I think are awesome. They have made the shoulder straps and this whole harness system adjustable. So you can actually move the shoulder straps up and down and you can also extend the hip belts, which means that this like amazing Flash 55 pack, my favorite backpack that I've ever used is now available for more different like types of bodies and to be better fit for each person which is really cool. The Flash 55 is fairly comparable to the Hyperlite 3400 or the Gregory Facet 55. And while the REI Flash 55 is slightly heavier than those two packs, it's also cheaper by like $50 in the case of the Facet 55 and by almost $200 in the case of the Hyperlite. My personal opinion is that the REI Flash 55 is the best designed, the most comfortable, the most versatile, and just like, one of the best backpacks that you can buy. And it's REI brand, right? This ain't no house brand backpack. This is a name brand. This is Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, and that is my last piece of gear on this list and my all time favorite piece of REI brand gear. And really the thing that I think you should definitely buy if you're at an REI. I'll put you over there, little buddy. My little friend, just realizing now how incredibly dirty you are. Now I'm sure there's a couple pieces of amazing REI gear that I missed. So if you wanna let me know in the comments below what you love from REI, I would love to hear it. And if you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe to our channel. Right now I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers and I would love it if you were the 100,000th subscriber. As always, I will see you outside. Bye.